Technology Translation and Innovation Division of the Department of Science and Technology New Delhi organized an event to celebrate 8 years of DST Nidhi National Initiative for Developing and Harnessing Innovations Programs Achievements on the 6th of September 2024 at the prestigious IIT Delhi campus The program began with lighting of the ceremonial lamp followed by Saraswati Vandana The Nidhi program works in line with national priorities and goals, focusing on building an innovation-driven entrepreneurial ecosystem and for nurturing ideas and innovations, knowledge-based and technology-driven into successful startups with the objective of socio-economic development through wealth and job creation. Praveen Roy, head Technology Translation and Innovation (DST), in his welcome address, overviewed DST Nidhi's journey and achievements. It is a matter of immense pride and joy. For me to welcome each one of you to this momentous occasion of celebrating eight remarkable years of DST's National Initiative for Developing and Harnessing Innovations that is Nidhi program today we come together to the successes of the past and to recommit ourselves towards fostering and nurturing science and technology driven innovations and entrepreneurship promotion in the country this day is special as we celebrate the DST startup usso as a small token of appreciation to mark the vibrant contributions of incubators the Nidhi TBIs the Nidhi ITBIs and Nidhi Center of Excellence startups students and innovators across the country a very special welcome to professor abhay karindikar sir secretary dst whose support and guidance has been driving force behind nidhi programs growth and impact sir your focus on advancing technology translation initiatives and empowering countless startups to bridge the gap between research and real world applications strengthening the innovation landscape of the country sir your focus on snt entrepreneurship is creating new opportunities for startups working at the cutting edge of technologies on behalf of technology translation and innovation division i am pleased to welcome Professor Rangan Banerjee ji director IIT Delhi we are grateful to you sir for making today's event possible at IIT Delhi sir this institution is synonymous with excellence in science technology and entrepreneurship IIT Delhi has played a pivotal role in nurturing innovations and providing a conducive environment to technology startups to thrive the recent collaboration between DST Nidhi and IIT Delhi have strengthened our mission to foster entrepreneurship and build a robust innovation ecosystem in the campus we have recently supported Nidhi Center of Excellence in fostering innovation entrepreneurship and startup incubation the purpose of organizing this event at IIT Delhi is to showcase the dignitaries officials incubators and invitees the wonderful state of art facility which has been created in IIT Delhi campus we request all to spare some time and visit the facility and research innovation park at after this event i would also like to extend my warm welcome to all the distinguished dignitaries senior officials from DST and other government departments heads of incubators heads of departments of IIT industry leaders investors and key stakeholders your presence today is what continues to drive the success of nidhi program i also also want to congratulate our my colleagues at technology translation and innovation wing of dst and extend heartfelt thanks to all for their hard work and dedication the success of the nidhi program is possible only because of you and your commitment to advancing science and technology in the country nidhi has supported thousands of innovative startups over these years creating a direct impact on various technology sectors through programs like nidhi prayas nidhi eir we have uh, empowered countless innovations to bring their ideas to life and to societal benefits nidhi program has conceived after a lot of deliberations and brainstorming with our stakeholders to make end to end support program from idea to market ready solutions this is just because of visionary leadership of our honored prime minister and the launch of startup india initiative in january 2016 we had stakeholder consultations in march 2016 and nidhi program was launched on 6 september 2016 since then we have established 39 technology business incubators 35 inclusive technology business incubators 58 nidhi seed support centers nine center of excellence and number of accelerator programs for startups I am delighted to share with you that in last 8 years the Nidhi Prayas program has been power of engine bringing technological advances in the country under Nidhi Prayas more than 1800 innovators have been supported through network of 56 prayas centers spread across 38 cities and 17 states the program has led to development of 1200 technologies and prototypes with nearly 60% achieving TRL 7 to 9 making significant contribution across 27 diverse technology sectors the Nidhi EIR program the entrepreneurial residence has empowered over 1000 EIR fellows resulting in creation of over 1000 prototypes and formation of 500 companies the generation of 3600 jobs supported entrepreneurs have raised more than 220 crore 
in funding. Today's event is indeed a moment to celebrate innovation in Bharat. Today we'll also give as a platform to have insight discussions and collaborations. We'll be witnessing virtual inauguration of eight new ITBIs and launch of DST GDC ITM Madras Deep Tech Startup Incubate Program. This will be creating a pipeline for startups, deep tech startup in our incubator. We'll also unveil a new DST website and publications highlighting impactful, successful stories of Nidhi EIR, Nidhi Prayas and women led startup programs. The release of impact assessment report of EIR and Prayas program will also be part of the event today. Eight new Nidhi ITBIs inaugurated and facilitated. DST GDC IITM incubate program for deep tech startups and new DST Nidhi website were launched. Program impact videos Nidhi Prayas and Nidhi EIR were released. Three publications on impact assessment report on Nidhi Prayas and Nidhi EIR programs, Compendium of Success Stories, Nidhi Prayas, Nidhi EIR programs, and Compendium of Impactful Women-Led Startup Entrepreneurs supported under Nidhi program were also released. Professor Abhay Karandikar, Secretary, Department of Science and Technology said, Very warm greetings to all of you on the completion of the eighth year of the Nidhi program, which has been really a milestone in the entire journey of the India startup ecosystem. As you know that India has emerged as the third largest startup ecosystem in the world. In the last eight years, there has been a phenomenal rise in the startup ecosystem from about 800 to 1000, maybe eight years ago, to close to now 1,40,000 DPIIT registered startups as on today. But I think the more interesting part is that of these 25 to 1 lakh 40,000 startups, there may be about 8 to 10,000 startups who are working in the core engineering and the deep tech area. And all of these startups, I can say confidently, have been touched by the Department of Science and Technology, either directly or indirectly. And that has been really one of the major impact that this Nidhi scheme has done, initiating the incubation activity activities in the core engineering and technology areas in various incubators spread across. As you saw that there were several other innovative programs were launched under this initiative like Nidhi EIR, Nidhi Prayas, Nidhi Centers of Excellence and so on. And these have helped in strengthening our startup ecosystem. I'm very proud to say that the Department of Science and Technology has been a pioneer in initiating the startup activities in the country. In fact, when no one had heard of the startup ecosystem, the DST had set up the Technology Development Board way back in 1995 for supporting the startup. Several incubators across institutions and universities, and that includes almost all IITs and NITs, have been set up and funded by the Department of Science and Technology. Over the years, of course, the Government of India has launched several initiatives and programs through other ministries, then joined the DST effort in strengthening the startup ecosystem which included the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology which included MNRE which later more recently also included the Department of Telecom the DPIIT's programs in terms of fund of funds uh, you know which also invested in several startups and several other initiatives which were taken by the Niti Ayo. I should say that it is really a tribute to and testament to the hard work that has been put in by the team at the DST in nurturing and bringing up the startup ecosystem to this. In this journey, of course, all our incubation partners and which includes, you know, the incubators which have been set up across the institutions have been of a great assets. I would like to compliment and congratulate all the incubators which are there today on this 8th anniversary of the Nidhi Prayas. A big compliments to all of you. In fact, because of your commitment and hard work that the government of India in general and the department of science and technology in particular has been successful in nurturing the startup ecosystem in the country. Today we have very conducive environment for supporting the startups. From the science and technology perspective, we would definitely like to strengthen the deep tech startup ecosystem and as you saw, today we have launched with the GDC Center at IIT Madras an initiative in that directions also. The government of India will soon come out with deep tech startup policy and in 
in this budget also the government has announced a 1 lakh crore corpus fund to support the sunrise sectors deep tech startup so i think all these are now initiatives to take leverage our already strong startup ecosystem to now take our country to the next level of global leadership in science and technology and that would be possible really if we now leverage this entire ecosystem to create the impactful deep tech startups and in this context therefore as i see that the department of science and technology through its various programs and particularly the nidhi while took the initiatives in nurturing the startup ecosystems in general now there is really a time for us to leverage this ecosystem and nurture in the deep tech startup ecosystems in the next five to ten years once again i would like to congratulate the entire team for this momentous occasion and uh, i hope that when we meet again after maybe five years or eight years we would have created not just unicorns in terms of their market valuations but in terms of some disruptive technologies you know that will transform the entire world in the next five to eight years and i think that should be really our goal in nurturing this uh, ecosystem the guest of honor professor rangan banerjee director iit delhi in his special address said at iit delhi and all of our institutions that we are we are in the business of creating the future citizens of the country we are also in the business of creating knowledge for society and we want to see that when we create excellence in education and research we want to see that the knowledge that we create adds value to society and and this is where dst and the initiatives that we have of incubation serves the goals that we have as academic institution so we are actually delighted to be a partner we have at iit delhi center of excellence supported by the dst nidhi and i think i am told at least about 150 startups have benefited directly from the last 8 years through the support so what we need to do is we need to see that how do we scale and support some of these incubators and go to the next level and i think we need to see that we create a funnel so that we have more ideas and more people getting into this this creation of funnel we are doing at iit delhi through we've tapped our alumni people who have actually done startups people who are venture capitalists and they are running venture studios to encourage our students and to see how they can take up this incubation journey we are also having a scheme where we have we call it one two three four a first year student a second year student a third year student and a fourth year student and all working on a research project funded by iit delhi and then some of these result in startups when you ask the incoming batch of students what they want to do increasingly over the years a large number of people are saying they want to do their own startup and this is something as academic institutes and this change that has been done through the catalysts that have been provided by dst so we'd like to thank dst for doing this but we need to do more we need to have an appetite to do more we need to have ways in which we assess the technology we see that we another change that has happened is initially all startups were only in the commercial and software domain now we have a large number of startups which are in the deep tech area and we need to look at this in the way that we have our students actually becoming employment creators we also need to see how we can add value to the ecosystem system and in doing this the whole goal is that we give a strategic competitive advantage through our research and through our startups and the interface how do startups use the facilities we have support from dst for a large number of characterization fabrication facilities we have the sathi we have all our research labs we have with the m pragati which is medical innovation medical devices ecosystem we have to create a system where we the startups from any part of the country can access some of our ecosystem so i think there's a lot that we need to do we need to have an aspiration we need to also have a global aspiration we are having at iit delhi link from our startups with other countries we've done this few europeans we are going to try and do this with the uae and i think that is also so that we are looking at startups accessing the global market so it's a very interesting time to be in this startup and innovation ecosystem but there is a challenge for us in the next 5 years or 
eight years where we actually scale and our startups actually make a difference and the startups actually interface. We need to have a way in which the startups interface with the large companies so that they can think of scale, they can think in terms of making an impact at the mass level. And this is something where all of us have a role. We are delighted to be here and I would encourage, we at IIT Delhi are very keen to catalyze the entire innovation ecosystem in the NCR region. And I would like to say that our doors are open and we welcome and we would like to have partnerships with all of you here because together we can make more of a difference and we can actually make a difference so that our technology is competitive and we create employment and we bring the developed Vixit Bharat that our Prime Minister aspires to. The Chief Guest, Honorable Minister of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, Dr. Jitendra Singh, addressed the gathering virtually. In his virtual presidential address, he remarked, I'm delighted to be here addressing the gathering of the celebration of the eight years of the Nidhi program. Today, as we stand on the threshold of a technological advancement with artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and new energy at the forefront, events like this highlight the immense potential of innovation to transform today's Bharat into Bharat of the future. Gentlemen, we have all gathered here today to celebrate the power and influence of innovations that is driving change, creating opportunities and changing the future of this nation. Department of Science and Technology's Nidhi program stands for these creative endeavors, realizing for India a robust startup ecosystem that is boosting our economy and advancing our industry one at a time. I am glad to note over here and proud to say that under the visionary guidance of Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji Startup India, Startup India initiative, the Department of Science and Technology launched Nidhi in the year 2016. It was in response to a critical need that we identified within India's innovation ecosystem. While our academic institutions were producing world-class research, there was a significant gap in translating these ideas into market-ready products. And therefore, Nidhi was conceived to bridge this gap, offering structured support at every stage, that is, from idea all the way to the market entry. With this in mind, and with an emphasis on India's roadmap to become a Vixit Bharat by year 2047, with startups playing a crucial role in the journey, Honorable Prime Minister Shri Modi has laid out the vision that Indian startups will lead the global innovation race and the women-led startups will be at the forefront across the sector. I would like to reiterate that the Honorable Prime Minister has emphasized, and I quote, innovation succeeding in Indian conditions are sure to find success in global scenarios, unquote. Nidhi, I am proud to note, after eight years of his journey, is widely recognized by academic innovators for translating scholarly research into real-world solutions. The program offers a comprehensive stage-wise support structure that is tailored to the unique dynamics of academic environment. Through initiatives like Nidhi Entrepreneur in Residency and the Nidhi Prayas programs, Nidhi provides essential resources and guidance to ensure that startups receive sustained support from idea through to the growth. And therefore, our focus has been on instilling an ethos of a applied and translational research within our academic and research establishments by transforming academic knowledge into commercially viable solutions. And by doing so, Nithi ensures that intellectual pursuits do not remain confined to laboratories but reach the market, making impactful changes. In the last eight years, ladies and gentlemen, Nithi has been instrumental in facilitating the incubation of our thousands of startups. And these startups are today the stories of innovation, the stories of resilience, stories of transformation. Many of them are setting new industry standards and are also showcasing India's potential to lead on the global stage. Today, we are inaugurating the eight new Nidhi TBIs, different locations across the country. And TBIs being launched at the Central University of Rajasthan, Ajmer, at the Guru Angat University, Division of Veterinary and Animal Sciences University, Ludhiana, BLD, Deemed University, Bijapur, Karnataka, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh, Pranveer Singh Institute of Technology, Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh, Guru Ghasidas, Vishwavidyale, Central University, Vilas. Chhattisgarh, GSSS, Institute of Engineering and Technology for Women, Mysore, Karnataka, and the University of Petroleum and Energy Studies, Dehradun. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, to all the incubators, innovators, and entrepreneurs present here today, your success is a sample to the incredible potential which our nation holds. Let us continue to work together and make our tangible contribution to realize the vision of Vixit Bharat by 2047. To the young innovators here today, I want to encourage you to embrace the spirit of entrepreneurship. Your ideas are the 
seeds of our nation's future. The journey may be challenging youngsters, but the perseverance and innovation, there is no limit to what we can achieve together. Congratulations to Team DST's Technology Translation and Innovation Division and thank you everyone who has contributed to this remarkable journey. Let us continue to work together, pushing the boundaries of what is possible and creating a brighter, more innovative future for Bharat. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, we will be Vixit Bharat by 2047. Dr. Krishnakant Pulicherla, scientist TTI DST, presented the vote of thanks. As you all know, need and curiosity drives everyone. Our efforts from DST are to give a direction for the curiosity-driven research, not only from Technology Translation Innovation Division of DST, all our colleagues across the divisions working relentlessly and position numerous efforts to drive the R&D towards a demand-driven, inclusive R&D so as to make sure that the investments will translate into socio-economic benefit of the nation. As part of these efforts, particularly for translation and commercialization of the R&D outcomes and for startup promotion, NSTDB, in short we call NEB, now it has been evolved as TTI division of DST has taken various initiatives in the last few years. Today, we all have witnessed the DST Nidhi's eight years of success and there are many more exciting things to achieve in the near future. Now, I take the privilege to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of TTI division of DST and wish to extend our deepest gratitude to all who have contributed for the success of today's event. First, I want to extend our sincere thanks to the Honorable Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, Minister of State Independent Charge for Science and Technology and Earth Sciences. Though he could not make it for today's event physically, but we saw his blessings today. So I thank for his visionary leadership and support have been, which is really instrumental in advancing DST's Nidhi initiative. So his dedication to foster entrepreneurial growth across diverse sectors is truly commendable, which was rightly mentioned by Mr. Menon. Now I take the opportunity to thank our Secretary DST, Professor Abhay Karandika, who is the actual driving force for all of us. Thank you, sir, for all your support and guidance. We are honored to have Professor Rangan Benerji, Director IIT Delhi, as our guest of honor for today's function. Sir, your presence has greatly enriched our event and we deeply appreciate your support which has been instrumental in organizing this event at your campus. Our sincere thanks to our Edition Secretary and Joint Secretary, Madam Dhanlakshmi Ma'am from DST and all admin team for supporting us. Your support and encouragement have been key to the prosperous direction for this program. Your dedication to nurture a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem is truly appreciated. So I want to congratulate all the eight newly launched Nidhi IT based center. We hope these centers will serve as catalysts in creating a robust startup ecosystem in the region and will inspire a spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship among students, innovators, researchers and entrepreneurs. We look forward to seeing these centers stimulate and support creative ideas and startup ventures through effective incubation. So thanks to all the delegates and representatives who have come from all these eight institutions for coming all the way here. I also want to congratulate DS. GDC IATM Incubati for their special initiative in creating a pipeline of deep tech startups. I sincerely thank the IIT Madras GDC team for accepting our invitation joining with us today. So I would also like to acknowledge the significant contributions of various teams and individuals. The first in comes is the Venture Center CSR NCL and specialist Shruti Ma'am for their impactful Nidhi ER videos and compendium of success stories. And PMU Sign IIT Bombay for their Nidhi Prayas impact videos and compendium of success stories. And my colleagues from the division who really have worked a lot for their work on Compendium of Impactful Women Startup Entrepreneurs supported under the Nidhi program. So special thanks to TIFAC team for their comprehensive impact assessment report on Nidhi Prayas and Nidhi AR programs. Their report and recommendations really helped us to go to the next phase. So my sincere thanks to all the panel members who took all the pains to come here in a short notice to share their views in the panel discussions which we are planned today after this session. We are eagerly waiting to listen to their views. So now the witness. It's very important to have someone to witness. Hence we we have many. Today the auditorium is full. I thank all the participants who have come from across the country and also very importantly my colleagues from DST and other autonomous and statutory bodies of DST for sparing their valuable time for this event. Finally, I would like to extend a special thanks to all the scientists, officers and staff of TTI Division DST and the FITT team from IIT Delhi. Your collective efforts and support have been instrumental in the seamless coordination of this event. Now I must specially mention and sincerely thank Sri Praveen Roy, head TTI Division DST 
committee for planning this event meticulously and guiding us in organizing this event. Sir, big thanks to you. Thanks to all once again for your support and for making this event resounding success. Some panel discussions such as triumph over barriers in technology translation, scaling startups, synergizing with investors and corporates, etc. were also organized in which experts from academia, research institutes and startups expressed their views. The event showcased Nidhi's achievements over the past 8 years, its role in fostering innovation and entrepreneurship in India, Nidhi initiatives and a virtual inauguration of 8 new Nidhi inclusive technology business incubators. Narrated by Manoj Mainkar and scripted and presented by Dilip Jha. This broadcast came to you from the Indraprastha channel of Akashvani Delhi.